what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? TMZ strikes again. This time, they've dug up photographs, memes, of bully boy Keaton Jones' father, Sean White, who they've discovered is a white supremacist and convicted felon. In fact, he's in jail right now. Yeah. So this story continues to take new twists. This onion keeps getting layers pulled back time and time again. On Monday, we've discovered that Keaton Jones's mother was a racist. She was caught posting memes of herself and her children um, holding up Nazi flags, white supremacist stuff, making comments, making other people feel bad, lifting herself up, basically just bullying other people. But she makes this video about her son being bullied and she gets this international sympathy. People from all over the world contacting her, trying to offer her things, offering her son tickets to games, to concerts, hang out with him, raise $56,000 on GoFundMe. Y'all should have knew something was up right then when they started talking about money on GoFundMe because somebody got bullied. Kids get bullied every day. Nobody raises money. What, what, what are you raising money for? Like, what's the money for? Like, so if I get bullied, my kid gets bullied, that means that people just start a GoFundMe and now my kid has a college education. And do you know how many GoFundMe's would be popping up daily if everybody did that. Bullying in schools in America, I don't know about these other schools around the world, but I know America is pervasive. It's real bad. And we're talking about millions of kids. But yeah, they got exposed. I love it. Kind of suspected that anyway. Once you saw the pictures of the mother, you already knew what the daddy was about. Somebody said on, I think it was YouTube, I saw a comment. Somebody said, well, no, 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 it was on Yahoo. Somebody said that just because the mother, uh, I mean, just because the father is a racist doesn't mean the mother is a racist. Well, besides her holding up that Confederate flag, having a son wave the Confederate flag, and her uh, making derogatory comments about non-whites, the fact of the matter is, if you lay up and have a baby with a racist, chances are your ass is a racist too. You had, that's, that's one of the things that you really had in common. Because, you know, being a racist is a big deal. That's not, that's not like saying, I'm hooking up with this person. He likes uh, football, uh, but I don't. No, it ain't like that. It's not like a hobby. Being a racist ain't no damn hobby. It's a lifestyle. It's who you are. It's one, it, it, it's one of your strongest convictions. And if you have somebody in your life that you in, you're intimate with who is a racist, your ass is a racist also. Don't ever get that twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. At the very minimum, you are a racist empathizer, a racist apologist. This guy, Sean White, he looks like the perfect candidate to test new Ebola treatments. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody from Trump's administration didn't reach out to him and give him a spot. Because you know 
the Trump administration is crawling with racist. I leave you with this. These different twists just continue to happen in this story that started off as a simple story of a kid being bullied and people reaching out just to show their support. Simple enough. But then they got outed as racist. People started really finding out who they really were as a family. Yeah, as a family who they are. The next twist, I do believe, is we're going to find out that Keaton's dad is also his uncle. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.